Ugh, why does my dog always seem to be bumping into me with a slippery snout? And better yet, why is it wet? What's up guys, Dr. Finn here. If you're new to my channel, I'm a veterinarian whose goal in life is to teach you how to give your furry loved ones the best life possible. If you have an interest in learning more about animals, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. Now, let's try to get to the bottom of why your dog's nose is wet. To answer this question, we first need to understand the purpose of a dog's nose. Oh, come on, Dr. Finn, that's easy. They use it to smell things like other dogs' butts and my apple pie left cooling on the kitchen counter, right? Well, yes, dogs absolutely depend on their sense of smell, and they probably depend on their nose to help them figure out the world just as much as we use our eyes while trying to get to work every day. The bottom line is a working nose is essential to canine survival and wet noses actually work better than dry noses. Dogs have around 220 million olfactory receptors in the nasal cavity compared to a human's measly five to six million. Also, not only do they have more receptor cells, but each one of those cells are at least four times more efficient than human olfactory receptors allowing dogs to detect significantly smaller concentrations of odorants. Now you may be wondering if sense of smell is directly related to the amount of receptors present. Does that mean dogs with bigger snouses can smell better than dogs with little ones? You're correct. In most cases, dogs with longer snouts such as bloodhounds, basset hounds, and beagles have an advantage solely based on the size and amount of receptors their noses contain. Okay, okay, I get it. They can smell better than us. But you still haven't answered my question about why do they have to be wet? Well, as it turns out, odor particles stick much more efficiently to a wet surface. And by wet, I mean mucus. A specific gland called Bowman's glands, which are embedded in the olfactory epithelium, secrete mucus, which maintains normal nasal humidity levels and traps odorants. So without this mechanism present, a dog cannot properly recognize and detect odors. So you might now be wondering, well, if my dog's nose isn't wet, does that mean something's wrong with him? Maybe if I put some water on it, that will help. Let me just stop you right there. Please don't waterboard your fur baby just yet. Some dogs do indeed have drier noses than others. Sometimes physical things like exercise, mild dehydration, sunbathing, can cause your dog's nose to become drier than it usually would be. Now again, if you're ever concerned that your pet is just acting a little bit off, less energetic, didn't finish his dinner as he normally would, and has a dry nose, then I will always recommend you speak with your family vet and give your pet a full exam and potentially additional diagnostics if indicated. This leads me to my next point that overly wet noses can be a sign of disease as well. And what I mean by overly wet is sneezing, coughing, louder than normal breathing, visible discharge coming out of one or both nostrils, whether it's colored or not. These all may indicate your pet has an illness, whether it be due to bacteria, certain viruses, environmental factors, foreign material invasion, or some other potential disease process. If you notice any of these, I would certainly recommend you contact your vet sooner rather than later. I hope you learned something new today, and as always, if you have questions or topics you'd like me to speak about in future videos, please leave a like and a comment and hit that subscribe button. See y'all next time.